Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I am still not 100% voice wise, so my voice is still not 100% back, but it's an exciting week because Matt and I have recently celebrated eight years together, eight years as a couple, which is, oh my gosh, like, where does the time fly? That is crazy that I have been with him actually eight years and six months, and I was actually too sick to celebrate our actual anniversary. So, Today, we are heading on our little anniversary retreat to one of my favorite places ever, so I'm really excited about that. I need to go and get myself ready properly, but first I'm just gonna organize the house before we go. I don't know if anyone else likes to do that, like organize the house before they go somewhere. But one thing I'm really excited about is the fact that Matt and I are both getting massages. Matt hasn't had a massage in so long, and I think regular massages are really important because I get quite bad, like, neck pain and that kind of thing like shoulder pain I think it's from working out but also I think it's from the way I sleep so I'm a side sleeper and I don't know if you've seen but like I don't know if anyone gets this but you know that like face puffiness and kind of face crease wrinkles from sleeping on a wrong pillow and the bad pillow and no skincare kind of gets rid of it and it just kind of like stays on your face well I've been getting that really badly and I actually saw a TikTok and an Instagram post from a doctor who was talking about this amazing pillow, which I am now the proud owner of. So I'll pop the pillow on screen, but I was just organizing my bedroom and I was like, I need to tell you guys about this pillow. So apparently shoulder pain, neck pain, obviously there can be loads of different reasons for it, but sleeping can be a big factor when it comes to like things like this and also the kind of creases and the puffiness even if you've had eight hours sleep and you kind of have that puffy face it can be from the way that your face is kind of compressed on the pillow so the pillow that was recommended is a sleep and glow omnia pillow you've probably seen it everywhere because so many people are talking about this definitely one of those like tiktok maybe buy it but for good reason but yeah as we're about to go on kind of like a healthy fitnessy retreat kind of just like nice retreat in nature i was like i need to talk to you about this getting a good night's sleep is so important and i definitely don't do it enough so anything that's going to elevate my sleeping and make me feel like i'm sleeping on a cloud like this does then i'm here for it so if you are a side sleeper like me listen up sleep wrinkles get formed and this actually has a unique 3d design to help combat sleep wrinkles and it's also memory foam so it molds to your body which is amazing meaning the boyfriend can't steal it because it's molded to my body it also means it's great for those kind of aches and pains because hello it's cheaper than a massage. First kind of opinion when sleeping on it, it definitely feels like I'm sleeping on a cloud, which I love. And I think that's because your face isn't compressed like it is with a regular pillow. The really good thing though for me is that this is designed by orthopedists and there are so many good reviews of this online. I am looking forward to my massage, but hopefully this is gonna help at home. So I'm gonna leave a link below. I might have a discount code, but I'm really excited to add this to the M Shell home bedroom and yeah if you are a side sleeper let me know but i'm gonna finish organizing the house i am gonna get myself fully packed and then to the retreat we go Good morning, good afternoon, hello and welcome back to my channel. It's an exciting one. We celebrated our eight year anniversary earlier this week, although we didn't because I was unwell. So we are celebrating this weekend instead. We're heading over to one of my favorite hotels in the world. You've never been here, have you? And oh, these roads are kind of crazy. We are not in the Cotswolds for a change, but actually in the New Forest, which is one of the most beautiful parts of England. And I feel like I maybe vlogged here years and years ago. We kind of came nearby and we went to Goodwood, which is beautiful, um, which is almost like Chichester way, I think. And then I've been to a place called Limewood, which was insane. But all of this was kind of pre-pandemic. And then the hotel we're heading to now was actually the last hotel I ever stayed at pre-pandemic so it's really special to me because I kind of had in my photo album on my phone all of these memories from this wonderful stay and then my phone just kind of stopped and my photo album just went to kind of like baking banana bread doing home workouts so I'm back and it feels amazing. So I cannot wait to check in, show you. They have the most insane tree houses here and we are on kind of like a reserve list in case a tree house comes up. I am praying, manifesting that we get one of these tree houses because they are just the best tree houses ever to stay in and I would love to have my experiences with me. I actually was here with Josie the last time I came and I remember we had breakfast together in the tree house and it was so special. If we don't get a tree house, the other rooms are meant to be gorgeous but I am, I am really hoping that we can get the tree house so Matt can enjoy it and stay in it. So we're about 20 minutes away. It's about a, maybe like just over two hour drive from London. Let's do this.
On the right is the first hole. We found some croquet and Matt's very excited because he's found the golf over there. Matt has gone for what's in your sandwich? Give us a swizzle. Yum. Coronation chicken with some crisps. And then I've gone for a prawn Caesar salad. They have these charity sculptures, absolutely amazing. They're all just dotted around and they weren't here last time. Oh my goodness, they have beehives here and they sell their honey. This is amazing. I actually prefer honeycomb, but this kind of honey is easier to eat. So they grow a lot of their own produce here and they have a kitchen garden. I didn't actually come into here last time. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that's amazing! Oh wow! I think we can have a pizza while we're here, that would be sensational. So I heard um, the man at the restaurant saying at lunch that they grow a lot of their own produce here. So I guess they have their beehives, their pumpkins. Oh I hope there's some pumpkins in season, I'd love some pumpkin kind of item for my dinner. Oh look at these! Matt, what are these yellow things? I think these might be the start of pumpkins maybe, but I don't know what the yellow things are. Oh my gosh, they have Swiss chard, which is one of my favourite vegetables ever. This is amazing. I love seeing like a kitchen garden and seeing where my produce comes from. And we just saw, inside the little gift shop, we saw the honey that you can buy, which is very exciting. Pumpkins casually growing. And then I did just see a sculpture down here as well. How lovely. Look at this sculpture. Wow. I'm wondering if this might be squash, but I could be wrong. Oh yes, winter squash, summer squash. Tell me you're an adult without telling me you're an adult. This is so exciting. Oh wow. This is truly amazing. Let me walk through here, and oh my goodness, look at this, how beautiful, nestled among the apple orchids, so beautiful. So when we had a little tour, when we checked in, they were telling us all about this and why they actually have the lions and it's for the Born Free Forever Love The Last Project, a social movement driven by public art to raise awareness funds and support for endangered and threatened species. How wonderful. I'm not going to get too close, but we found some of the beehives. Wow. Shall we go see if our room is ready? Let's go get the keys to the room. So into the room we go. It's absolutely huge with our own little tea making section here and then all info you need is on the iPad. Oh, that's quite loud. You can hear someone cleaning, I think. And then outside this door, we have our own little jungle. So you've probably guessed we don't have the tree house. So we'll just have to come back for that. However, look at this beautiful hot tub we have in our own little courtyard with a beautiful clock house behind us. I mean, that is seriously special. And then we go through this door and in here we have honestly what looks like the comfiest bed and then our stuff me and then Matt's found the TV you can see we've kind of got like gorgeous little courtyard they have so many different rooms in Jude and Glen they're all different so I've never stayed in this one a bath and a huge shower room so Jude and Glen is in the New Forest which is one of the most beautiful parts of the UK country size wise and all of the rooms are so different they all have different characteristics like I say they have tree houses they have these kind of rooms and there's just so many different ones to stay at so this is gorgeous let's go and get ready to go to the spa
let's have a little look at what might be inside here. Every time I see truffles like this, it reminds me of Matilda and Mrs. Trunchbull having really special truffles. They look absolutely gorgeous, and these are Teuton Glen themed, which is so special. This is the most matte thing I've ever seen. Who's playing? Liverpool Brighton. No way. Liverpool Brighton. Okay. Good game. Eggs and pains. Really is tension. Go for one of those on. How do you want to feel? <laughs> Just write all of the above for you. Yes, I take as many as you want. What are you going for? <laughs> yeah. Go for all of them. Yeah, you can have all of them. You can have all of them. Evening. Oh my goodness, I have had such a special day. I just had the dreamiest massage ever and the weirdest thing happened, which I'll tell you about in a second, but I just came out of the spa, had a swim. I haven't been doing much exercise because I haven't been feeling the best and finally moved my body and had a swim, which was so nice. You can see the hotel behind me. We just ate lunch earlier, kind of behind that. I'm now actually, this estate set on loads of acres, which is so special for like walking and I'm actually hunting for Matt because they have a golf course and the golf course is just completely open. He said he's on the far side, I feel like that might be him. Yes, he's waving at me, he's waving at me. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get down here without hurting myself, because it says caution, ha ha wall. I think Josie told me that that means tall wall. So I'm gonna walk all the way round. I'm sure it was Josie that said a ha ha means that you fall over it and there's a deep ditch, so I'm gonna walk round. Okay, now I've figured out how to get around. The cool thing, I mean, there's lots of cool things at this hotel, but the fact that they just have a golf course and it's free to use, okay, I'm going in. It's free to use and you can just go on. They even give you the equipment. Matt, of course, brought his own equipment because he loves his golf sticks. So I'm just gonna go find him and he said he's got the whole thing to himself. So you have this beautiful house here with truly the most amazing spa, the pool. It's just covered in light. It's like a light drenched, beautiful pool. Last time I stayed here, I didn't even use a pool. I didn't use a spa because we were just kind of retreating in our stunning tree house, which I will show you the tree house maybe on a walk this evening or tomorrow. But oh my goodness, the spa is just a dream. They have then another room that's kind of got loads of hydrotherapy in, loads of baths and outdoor jacuzzi just so serene and we're in Hampshire which is just such a gorgeous place then during my massage a helicopter landed because they have a helipad here and you know there's loads of lovely families here and I actually witnessed one of the waiters going over to one of the little girls at lunch and offering her a colouring book and she was so happy and it just made me think what a wonderful place to bring your children you can spa you can walk down to the beach there's a beach 20 minute walk away you can play golf They've got bike hire, or you can do what my boyfriend's doing and play golf. I've literally lost him again. Talk about the Greek. Matt says it's very picturesque, isn't it? I found him here, hidden in the trees. Wowzers. 
Matt says this is the best looking hole so far. Ooh! That's a bit nice, isn't it? We found one with a water hazard. This is so exciting. It's my first place time ever going to golf, actually. Hmm. An interesting one. It's got a. Uh, it's only got obstacles. It's got water, a load of trees, and no way of getting in and around the trees. Exciting. Uh, I mean, I'm not sure how you play this one. This one's a, this one's a cross between uh, crazy golf. <laughs> Real goal. <laughs> it's only got hazards. Kind of love it. What you going for them? I mean, Give me a big one. To be fair, I might have to. Out the big guns. I might have to punch a pitching wedge through, uh, through those trees. The whole slide. If, uh, if I don't hit any trees here, this will be... Woman, let me come get you. Is it safe for me to be behind here? <laughs> Woo! Whee! Oh. It's somehow green side. After hitting a tree. <laughs> It's quite a whole weight, I say, it's in game. I ain't got half three quarters. <laughs> Softly, okay? Yeah. Softly. <laughs> what am I trying to hit? You're going to hit the ball towards the hole. Which, where is the hole? Yeah. Oh! You've got a little eight iron. Yeah. And you're just going to hit it. You're just going to go like that. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> wasn't too bad actually. <laughs> Got bogey. Got bogey. <laughs> Home. We are back from the golf course. And if you stay in a tree house, they take you in these little things. We're going to quickly go have a look at the tree houses, walk over there. How was your golf then? It's cool, isn't it, that they have golf here though? The fact that it's just free and you can use it. It's handy. For a little pre-dinner dip. How beautiful is this? Look at these gorgeous clear skies. We are so blessed, so lucky. Good evening. I am wearing my new dress, which I'm absolutely in love with. TikTok made me do it. I saw some wearing wack it on TikTok and then my shoes, which don't really go with it, but I love them. I'm just topping up my makeup really quickly. So I thought I would pop on here and to catch you up. So, when I had my massage, the lady who did it, Michelle, was honestly amazing. I think it's probably one of the best massages I've ever had. I feel so, so, so lucky that we just have been able to spend the day how we have today. Room's gorgeous, massage was just amazing. She really like fully stretched out my whole body and she was just one of the best masseuses I've ever had. So, she said to me after the treatment that she felt like a spirit was around me and she said she had a really overwhelming sense of like a really lovely warm spirit and look comment below let me know you're either going to be one of those people this is Hanaz by the way um one of those people who uh, believes in that or you're going to be one of those people that doesn't but I was just talking to Matt about it in the hot tub and I was saying you know when you're grieving it's something that makes you feel really great like if you can channel that grief into oh well someone's watching over me 
it's actually really lovely. So that made me feel great and my camera's about to die. So on that note, let's go to dinner. But yeah, basically it was just such a lovely thing to hear. many different wines in here it's amazing oh wow look at these ones champagnes gave me some lemon honey and ginger tea and oh my gosh look at this fresh bakery basket and that's gone for full English then I got some smashed avo toast with some chia seeds and some honey and some berries so happy about this this is a view Tim Bunny, oh my gosh. Oh no, it's not a snake, it's a slow worm. <laughs> morning oh my goodness the water vapor outside in the air is crazy we just went for the most beautiful beach walk it's just a 20 minute walk on a path from here and it's so special i am now just gonna go enjoy the spa before we check out but this area is just so much natural beauty i can't believe i haven't explored it before supposed to be last night when my camera died and then we had to rush to dinner. I just air wrapped my hair, I need to brush it out, pop some elements, glow moisturizer on. Oh my goodness, somehow last night I lost the back to my earring. I have no idea where that's gone. And I just put some deodorant on. It's my wild deodorant. It's the new pumpkin spice one. It's amazing. It smells like vanilla. I do have a promo code in case you missed my last video. It's sustainable, it's amazing, they ship worldwide, it's aluminium free. Go and get one, look at my little case, and it's even engraved. The price is really, really good as well. So I have had the most gorgeous morning. Had breakfast, we did have a bird in the room. Um, so I'm just really, really quickly, oh, I had a swim. Not gymming yet, because I'm a little bit scared. This is L'Oreal. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared to gym. Um, I have like five minutes to get ready. The beach walk was amazing, but I just wanted to finish what I was saying about my massage yesterday. So yeah, the lady that did it said that there was a spirit a kind warm spirit lifting me up that she could feel now you either believe in that stuff or you don't but i think it's nice to think about you know that stuff and sometimes if you're grieving it's just a nice thing 
to think about whether it's true or not. I thought that was quite nice, but also quite eerie. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm literally down to the last few inches of this um, foundation. I've been wearing it for years. And I do mix it up sometimes, but I'm back onto it at the moment. And they're discontinuing it. Vichy, why would you discontinue the best foundation? So I need to go back to try like the foundations. I think the NARS one that I was wearing last night is really nice, but it's a little bit too light for me. So yeah. But dinner last night was also a dream. Like literally, oh, my face feels a bit stingy. I don't know why my face feels like it's stinging. I wear that moisturizer all the time. Um yeah so dinner last night was truly amazing they also do a tasting menu so we started with espresso martini and negroni i went decaf and then we moved on to dinner the service was just exquisite the dishes were truly amazing matt had like a chicken katsu to start and then i had scallops and the scallops were to die for it's just such great fresh quality food here and um, this is a Givenchy powder and then I had a fish, I know, I can't believe it. I'm into seafood, but I'm not into like fishy fish. But since going to Mallorca with Emily, I like sea bass now. So I had a Dover sole, it was grilled. It was absolutely incredible. I actually had it with chips because chips are way better than like boiled potatoes, in my opinion. Does anyone agree? And then Matt went for a steak. I had quite a lot of steak on my cruise and I try not to eat too much steak. So no steak for me. This is Gillan terracotta. Um, dessert, we had like a brandy snack on top of a chocolate cremeau. It was truly amazing with candied orange, which felt very autumnal. Obviously we had like bright sunshine, amazing weather yesterday. So to see the weather a little bit more autumnal this morning on the walk to the beach, you know, people were surfing. It was a crisp autumn morning. It was really special, but I'm not moaning about the sunshine because we didn't really get a summer. So I think we're having a late summer, which honestly, I'm happy to have a late summer because who doesn't love summer? But yeah, there's something really special about a blue sky with a crisp blue sky, crisp kind of weather, that lovely autumnal sunshine. And that's exactly what we had yesterday and this morning, actually. Um, Matt enjoyed golf. I can't believe that you can just play golf here. And I think this farm might be one of the most beautiful spas I've seen. Truly, they have an outdoor pool. They have their indoor pool. They have their little hydro section. So I did 45 minutes swim this morning, which felt good. I'm getting back into the swing of exercise, trying not to do two more. And I also steamed a little bit to kind of get things back. Oh, also my massage, speaking of my spiritual massage. Um, oh my gosh, it was probably one of the best massages I've ever had. She fully stretched my body out. It really felt like a good massage. And on the walk this morning, Matt was like, how's your body feeling? I was like amazing and we realized that matt hasn't had a massage for like over probably honestly two years in fact i don't think matt's had a massage since pre-pandemic truly i don't think he has i have massages a lot <clears throat> they're really important and i don't think matt ever has them okay the hair is really not hairing that just completely fell out we're gonna need to do the hair all over again another day when i get home but I'm gonna quickly get changed and then we are going to head for some lunch. Oh my gosh, I thought my lips looked weird. I haven't got anything on my lips. Um, I'm gonna pop some Joe Malone perfume on. Oh, I completely forgot to put these on. The D Bronzy Anti Pollution Sunshine Drops by Drunk Elephant. Really need to remember that. <laughs> and I even brought a face mask, which I haven't had time to do, um, from L'Oreal. We're rolling with it. We are rolling with the one lip vibe. Okay, step on. Saying bye to our room, but a little fit chat. The sun has come out. Well, I need new shoes, and I've popped them with these little frilly socks. Are they a vibe or are they not a vibe? Gosh, it's bright. How lucky are we? Let's go get some lunchies. In the shop at checkout, deciding which honey to buy. It's hard, isn't it? And all the honey. Is there anything else you want? Oh, they have their own sea salt and everything. Lovely. Mm. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank much. you. Bye. So happy about this purchase. I cannot wait to have this. And this is such a lovely touch for the drive home as well.
We are having lunch here. Gorgeous venue. This is basically at the front of the hotel. Ah, uh, this is a strawberry. It's absolutely delicious, it's like sparkling strawberry. Matt went for passion fruit. Cheers. Gorgeous venue, right? Mm -hmm. So you wanted salt and pepper squid? I would agree on that. I mean, you change. So. Because they do fresh homemade arancini. Tell the bug what you were just saying. Loads of restaurants. Hello. Are you happy? And what did we just notice as we were driving up here? Are we driving? Yeah. So yeah, but you're gonna have to come back so you can use it. I know. It's too much to do. Too little time. I know. Some of us have to work. <laughs> mayo in a plant pot. I went for the lobster and chips. These chips look unbelievable with like a garlic butter dressing. Matt has gone for the fish the catch of the day which looks absolutely amazing. Bon appetit. Gosh, it's amazing. And you have the students and you've got the screens so they can all wow. see what's going on. It's like a great British baker. Look at this, it's all set up with everything. And even this is the extraction. Oh, this is so high tech. It's I amazing. Love it. It's a fantastic bit of space. This is honestly beautiful. It's like my dream to do a great British bake off style it thing. It is exactly that. So oh, great appliances as well. Yes. Love yeah. that. Oh, thank you so much. No problem at all. Okay, that restaurant was amazing. She said it actually opened six years ago, so I just didn't eat there when I came last time because we ate in the main dining hall. Kind of did private dining where Matt and I ate last night. That was so great. So James Martin, who is one of the most famous chefs in the UK, probably in the world actually, he oversees the kitchen and everything and goodness the food was great i would definitely say go there for lunch they do lunch and dinner the menu was amazing they had a pizza oven flatbreads they even have a cookery school in there and she was telling me that everything is made from scratch everything the arancinis hand rolled just everything and it, we could tell because it was delicious we're just actually walking past the most insane tennis court this is what i mean about there's so many wonderful hidden parts to this like it's a huge estate it's something like 130 acres so so much to see and enjoy but lunch was absolutely amazing the flatbread we had was a dream and yeah they do cooking classes there so i definitely want to go back and do like i don't know maybe bread making or they even do like barbecue classes and she said that they would do it on the terrace with the big green egg in good weather so that would be a great like workshop to do or even like a hen party Hello guys, I am back from the most amazing stay. That was honestly so dreamy. I washed my hair so I'm feeling less spa-like and disheveled now. I just popped this on. What do we think to all denim? Is it a vibe or is it not? Oh, it's completely ruffled up. I need to pull it down. I saw someone wearing a full denim skirt on Instagram and I was like, oh, can I get away with a dress? I don't know. But I bought some Chew and Glen honey. Honestly, the lunch we had was amazing. The James Martin restaurant at kind of the start of Chew and Glen when you get to the drive is so good. We had such great service. I was saying to them when I checked out at Chew and Glen, some hotels I feel like it's on trend and cool to give you really bad service deliberately. And at Chew and Glen, it was just amazing. I'm not used to having good service anymore from my masseuse to the man that gave us our cocktails before dinner. The restaurant stuff, everyone was just so kind. So I bought some honey so I can always remember Chew and Glen, which is really nice. And then Matt's parents actually stayed at our house while we were away and they got us these. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of this. Original Buxton pudding, a butter pastry base. Apparently this is famous. It's an ancient Derbyshire recipe, traditionally made for occasional celebrations. I've never heard of that. 
And then she also got us some stem gingerbread. She got it from a place called, oh my gosh, the name escapes me, Chatsworth House. Apparently they have a really good farm shop there. I don't know if anyone's ever been, but speaking of farm shops, we've got the honey, we've got those. So lovely treats to get back to. Lovely way to celebrate our anniversary. We did actually have our favorite restaurant in London booked for dinner, but we had to cancel because I wasn't very well. But definitely a restaurant retreat is making me feel a little bit better. So Matt got me a really cute card as well. I got him a card and he did get me a bar of Tony's, which is just the most delicious salted caramel chocolate. So I really hope you enjoyed coming along. I have a really busy week ahead and we're going away again this weekend. So that was such a dream in between all of the chaos and the busyness. But thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, comment below and let me know your favorite type of honey. Do you like squirty honey? Do you like creamy honey? I love it when it's like quite creamy in colour. Do you like honeycomb or do you not have honey? Are you vegan and do you not have honey? But you guys are sweet as honey for watching my vlog and for making it this far and everything mentioned will be linked below and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I will see you next time and here's to eight years. Max and I are now into our eight year of being together so eight years and a few days which is amazing. Thank you for supporting us. All my love.